Hey everyone, um, this is Matthew here, and this is my son, Sup. Levi. Sup. Um, Levi really likes G.I. Joe action figures, and Corpse. we came across Corpse, which is, I think it's pronounced Core, but some people call it Corpse. We don't know the truth behind it, but we call him Corpse. Anyways, there are no G.I. Joes at the stores, and so we fill that need with these cool Corpse figures. And um, we buy them. They buy in single packs. Um, they're only like a dollar something. Yeah. And they come with accessories and pretty decent articulation. So um, we noticed online that they released these incredible, um, this line of Corpse figures from... Um, called Primal Clash. Um, Hi guys, this is going to be another toy review. My dad and me, Levi, we're going to be um, doing a toy review with Corpse. So we went to Walmart before we went to eat. Um, and we, I, since I really like Corpse, we came across some new Corpse figures. They're saber to tigers and raptors. So we decided to buy some of them and we're going to be opening them in this video reviewing them talking about them yeah all right guys i'm not done you're not done uh, almost. Not here's uh the raptor again primal clash really cool looking again great price point um, not nearly as expensive as G.I. Joe's. Obviously, it's a smaller company. Um, okay. I don't think that they use as many joints. Obviously, we don't have... Uh, well, we do have really loose waist ones. Yeah, like some of them, the waists get a little bit loose. But, I mean, that's with any toy that you play with a lot of. So, let's uh, see what we got here. Sophia. Okay, so we got this dude with the saber tooth tiger. It has like a little handle he can hold on to. Mm -hmm. There's like a weapon. It's like I think it's like a knife or a sword. Can't that comes really out. It. Yeah, it does. I can't my thumb. Okay. So. I'm gonna trust that this thing comes. Ooh, yeah, it comes out. Maybe it goes and in the other way better. I don't know. So it comes with a couple weapons. It, you get like this little gun. Okay. He also has like a bigger gun on here, and then there's a little like a like a can. I don't. A go say cannon. It. Yeah. It, like, like a blaster it, that it, mounts to. Uh, it goes right here, and you can take it off. And it, like, mounts to the back side. Different. Okay. Is there any articulation in the beast? Wait. Any points of articulation? No. No, not even the neck or the head or the face. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is one single sculpt. That's probably where they saved some money on it, so they didn't have to spend that much money making um, the molds for him. So they only had one mold to make. It looks like he has a... Oh yeah, you can also put like... He has a little pouch where you can put the gun. Okay. And this figure, let me remind you, this figure, it looks like the exact same figure that comes as the single packs or the, the yeah, triple packs that you can buy of just figures only. Um, so they saved money that way too. They didn't make any newer, newer characters or anything like that, but they basically added the beasts. So let's, uh, check out Levi's. So that's mine. Primatrodon. So he has like a little gun pouch where you can take out the gun. Mm -hmm. Um, a big knife for the guy. So you can just put that in his white pouch. Machete. And he has like a mask, so you can take that off. And like that's what he looks like. Mm -hmm. Ways it can go all around. Um, so how many points of articulation are these characters? Um, you, you think? Can do the knee. Okay, knee. So that's two. Um, like Knees, waist. Waist um, is three. The little hip joint is um, on each side. So arms, you got five and then total. Head, head. Six, seven, eight. Wait, also nine, how ten. About, how about wrist? Wrist can't move. Okay. Alright, so, so even though the saber tooth tiger doesn't have a lot, but um we yes can open and close. The oh, mouth. that's cool. Um, I was looking because it sort of looks like you can move it, but you can't move the legs. It's just sculpted pretty well, so the you detail can, looks yeah. like the detail looks like you should be able to move the legs, but um, and then but you can glued. take off the whole body thing. 
you can take off the gear. Oh, um, looks like he's got missiles th too. This is like pretty loose missiles. Like you would have to keep it up because if you just went like that, they fall out if you point them at the ground. So, so he, like he has the blaster yeah. coming out of his back. Mm -hmm. He's now got these the like missiles. rocket missile launchers. They both have little handles, harnesses, and um, Dino Wrangler. Sweet. Should we open some more? Can yeah. Open the big one. All right, so we got those two done. Here are the next two. This one is, I th it's like called the Titanus. Titanus? I got the Raptor. Okay, let's open those up. While you guys open those, I'm going to check out one of these bigger ones now. These are at a little bit more of an extreme price point, and by extreme, I mean more money. Uh, it is a Walmart exclusive, but again, they're not nearly as expensive as you might pay for any other sort of main brand. Um, looks like we have the Triceratops here, and then we also have the Mammoth that we're going to be opening later. But again, the single packs are usually just under 2 bucks, And then these are a little bit more expensive with the characters. And then these are at the higher price point. We did see uh, T-Rex, and I didn't know if it came with this or not, but yeah. Levi thinks it did, so we might have to go because back there to get, the to get those. Because you see on the package a little, as like a monster. Uh, so. What do you guys like about these figures? I like the dinosaurs. I, yeah, and I really like how like they fit just about perfect. With G.I. Joe's. Mm -hmm. So the other G.I. Joe's might be And it's awesome. like a cheaper version of G.I. Joe's. Less expensive yeah. is always a good thing. Yes. Oh, oops. Okay, looks like Levi got his open first, so let's check out what he's got going on. So, I have the Raptor. Um, yes, you can also move the mouth on this one. Still no legs. Um, so, instead of, like, having missiles or anything, mm -hmm. you have, like... You get a side view. Move your hand real quick so that they can see. Pouches for the guns, so you can just... see... How should I put it? Like, just... Like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this guy comes with a lot of stuff. You have, like, a submachine gun. Mm hmm Bomb. Bomb. Nice. And then you have... It's hard to get out. A little pistol. Yeah, a little pistol. Side. Okay. Now, I will make note of... I think Levi figured out the ones with any sort of skull symbolism... He's probably a bad guy. Is part of the bad guy group so we think that these that's two guys what I, that's what i think yeah that's what we think in my opinion um are the two bad guys and then these two guys that they're just opening right now are the two good guys so that could be true could be the opposite or they could be all like skulls yeah or you could do with whatever you want to do with yeah them. like it's... and make up whatever you want to make yep. up which is pretty fun with these type of toys so right, let's we have see the what Sophie opened so the the raptor um it can like, i think that's the the, um, the titan yeah, titanus yes. okay so it can open up its mouth so it has one mouth movement that's cool. um nice it has a set it also has like this little like collar thing with the handle that can come it looks like it can come off okay the back and it also has like this little like carrier like a bag mm -hmm. i think it i think it might be able to come off like Cause it has like these little things, mm -hmm. but then it also goes into it. It, it, okay. it can't move its legs. And then there's your guy. How and many weapons did he come guy. with? He came with three. He has like a bow gun. I don't know what Cross it's Crossbow gun type of yeah. thing. Yeah. And then he has just a regular gun. And he also has a little gun with like a pouch where you can put it. Okay. So yeah, it seemed like this is one of the main cool. guns that they have. Um, that a lot of them come with, but again, when you're playing yeah, with like these characters, you have that and... it's a cool, cool gun. Yeah. It looks like the, this guy has a couple of holsters on the side that he can hold his stuff on, too. And then the saddle can also come off. Sweet. Okay, let's, uh, these know, next? These let's guns. line up all these guys so we can get a pretty <laughs> cool shot. And even if you want to give one of these guys one of those weapons, too. Nope, they're his. 
Ooh, nope, they're his. You, you think sure? this girl can ride the dino? Oh, yes. As well? So, in a couple seconds, we'll be back, and we are going to check out the two large ones. Levi just went upstairs to get um, a knife, because these are pretty heavy-duty as far as in the package. But this, scissors? Yeah, scissors. Um, the art is very cool, the box art inside of it. Kind of a cool jungle scene. So Levi's gonna cut out his, okay, and gonna use the knife real quick. and we're gonna check out. Um, you got your knife still? I can open it. Here's a mammoth. Looks like his mask can come off, and he has one point where his neck can move up and down. But just holding this thing in my hands, it is, it's very heavy. It's very solid, um, well made. The, dis the detail is very cool. Did you get all those pieces out? Yep. Okay. So who does it come with? As the, um, one of the other animals, you do have the same guy. Okay. Everything same. Um, okay, so it's, oops. It's all the same as the guy but, that's riding well, the yeah. So, you so have maybe it's his twin. Mammoth. So what you can do is like try to take. We'll leave it on for now. All right. We'll leave it and on for now. You can take put, the put mask off. Let's see. You have like guns in the back that he can like be like that quick. Um. So let's put them on. There's no like place he can put his hands. Probably have like a gun in his hand. Mm -hmm. And. Again, you have the side gun. A little side, side pistol. Pouch. But they all seem to come with weapons of stuff pointing out of the backs. But I just realized Those that's pretty cool. The guns can rotate around and, and shoot somebody straight to the side of you if you, you need to. You can shoot somebody on the thing if it's bad. Yeah. It's like you can just put them up like that for now. Um, yeah, it looks like, um, in my opinion, this could be like a place to put an extra gun. Mm -hmm. And then him be like, you could probably put somebody on the back of this too. Let's see the size difference in the beasts. So, so lift them up. Doesn't he feel pretty heavy? Yeah, for like, well made, I would say. Talks are really strong. Like, and the detail, I mean, they put yeah. detail in everything. His eyes look great. I mean, those eyes are painted perfectly. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, it's tough to paint small eyes on action figures sometimes, you know, especially when you're a big company doing a lot of toys. So, I think that they did a really good job on that. Raptor down. Finally has the Triceratops out, and again, very, very heavy, um, a lot of weight to it. Looks like it has a cool saddle. Um, this back contraption thing looks like it's probably a water carrier of some sort of device. Let's see if the head moves. The head does not move, the mouth opens. but the mouth does open. Okay, so one point of articulation there saddle and looks like she said the guy comes with five. quite a five different weapons so um you got he has like two axes this is i think this is like an axe type of thing uh-huh um he also comes like this pickaxe mm -hmm. um he has a gun he has like a pouch like in the front of his shirt okay that has like a little i think it might like a gun gun that can come out Mm hmm okay. And then he also has like a, I guess like a knife or a machete. And he also has like a side pouch for it. Like the other guy. Yeah. And. It looks like this, uh, this contraption is, on the back has a couple of spots where the weapons can, can go. This can come off too. Yeah, it can come off. Let's it's put like the a, weapons. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Just go. Get him on there. And uh, let's see him pull him up next to the. Um... Yeah, super big. So let's uh, line them all up here. Oh, did he also? Was it this one who he also came like it was a rifle, but Levi stole it? 
Yeah. No. Yeah, he comes with that rifle, that big guy. So, so yeah, there's um the lineup of Primal Clash. Oh, Looks God, like he's got a exclusive to where? Walmart. Okay, Walmart. But again, if you have that GI Joe itch and you really like action figures, these are a lot of fun to play with. And um, we're gonna go have some fun with them now. So Levi's been pretty antsy. Peace out. He's ready to go and uh, set up a battle. So thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Bye.